Today, we're reviewing the Pura Spiked Still Water. And we just ask ourselves, why? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a really quick review about this Pura Still Water. I don't even have the bottle, I threw them all out. Um, but you can see the graphic up over here. It's Pura Still Water. Um, it's basically a malt beverage that has gone flat. Um, it's four and a half percent alcohol. It's pretty low in carbs. That's why I bought it. It was like two or three grams of carbs per 12 ounce glass bottle. And they had a couple flavors. I think they had tangerine, a blue, a blackberry, and some other flavor. I think I tried the blackberry. Um, and I opened this thing up. It's in a beer bottle. And I just uh, drank it. And it was flat water that had booze in it, like four and a half percent. And I couldn't really figure it out. It was sort of like a mixed drink without a straw or ice cubes. Um, I had the same amount of alcohol as a beer or a spiked seltzer, but it just kind of lacked character. It had no fizz, very minimal flavor. Um, I couldn't figure out what to do. I even tried diluting it like the way I do with my seltzers. I do, I do loot my seltzers with other seltzers, so it's like a big, fizzy, bubbly jug of drink. Ah. Um, I just couldn't figure out what the draw is. I mean, it had a smooth texture like water, but then that would mean it's like you're, like you're inclined to chug it because it's a low, you know, four and a half percent, or four percent, but it didn't have any fizz. So it, it doesn't fit any kind of model of drinking. Um, it's not like a, a higher concentration, like a wine, which is 12 to 15 percent, and you sip the wine, or, or a cocktail, like a whiskey sour, or whatever the hell you drink, um, and you sip it, like you sip it because it's concentrated. It, 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 it didn't match up, in my opinion. You had a, f a easy to drink thing that was low in alcohol. That's like I think I would, if I had a, that was if that was my only thing to drink, I would just pound them. And it, it then after a while, it kind of feels weird because there's no emotional connection, like with the fizz. You know, when you have a fizzy drink or a beer, you have that. There's some sort of other tactile feedback in your mouth. A flat water has no. Uh, I guess you can say, for lack of a better phrase, muscle memory. So I don't see how these drinks are going to find any any uh, customers. But maybe maybe they're creating a new um, type of customer that likes the flat water but doesn't want to drink a hard drink and doesn't like the gas because they have flatulence issues. I don't know. But I don't... The, f the fact that it was lacking flavor entirely and character in the drink, It's uh, it, it was just... Like eating, drinking nothing, uh, and I don't see see the draw. And I don't think I even doctored it up. And I, when I made it with lemon juice and ginger, it still wasn't good because it, it it was very very flat. So I I, I don't know. I, I'll keep it on the list uh, for maybe one day when I'm having a gastrointestinal issues and I can't drink any f fizzes and fuzzes. But I, I don't uh, see how long this, uh, this brand will stay around. I, I just don't think they'll make it. That, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please hit this subscribe button and the bell. And we'll see you on our next booze review. I have two or three or four or five or six more of them coming up over the next couple months. They're all lined up. I just have to drink them and talk about them. Take care.